Hey, welcome back to Candlepin for Kids, the Smoke the Shoe segment. I am Dan Shugoth here, and I'm standing here with Josh Daly. Did I get your name right this time, Josh? Yes. How many times did I get it wrong during commercial break? Once. <laughs> so you know the rules to this, right? I'm going to throw one ball, you're going to throw up to three balls, but if you beat me in one, you don't even have to throw the second and third ball, right? Yep. Think you're going to do that? Yes. And if you do it, we're going to call this segment The Daily Show in honor of your victory, okay? Yeah. <laughs> and we're going to throw in an extra $10 today if you can beat me in one ball. So normally you get 20. We'll give you 30 in gift cards for a restaurant if you can beat me in one ball, 15 if you beat me in two, 10 if you beat me in three, and in the unlikely event I beat you, we'll give you five for trying. But I've been averaging four on my balls, so you should have an easy time. We're going to have you sit on the side. I'm going to use one of Miss Amanda Banks' balls because she's throwing monster strings, so Steve can hold this. All right, here we go. Let's see what Shu can do. Last week he dropped four. Sure, Josh is hoping for a half whister. Yeah, a good head been him, but he only takes out six. Come on, buddy. I think Josh has a great chance here. Ah, that's the first time I've hit the head pin, Steve, in like in six times doing this, so I'm pretty proud of hit. myself. It was. I thought you were going to get more than six. How does Amanda get spares and strikes with those balls? I don't know. She's got something going it's a there. a good ball. He's going to take it out right oh, away. Oh, I said I'd give him an extra 10, so we're going to give him $30. He wants to try to clean him up. Oh, yeah, we'll let clean him clean him up. Up. We'll let him finish the box. He deserves it. A little air time. He wants a little air yep. time. Josh has come very close to making the show in the past. He was only 19. He was runner up today, yeah. Today, right. He's got a shoe on. Great job. Eye. Great job. You can see the big improvements in his game. We Great hope you job, enjoyed Josh. the Daily Show, and we'll be back with String 2 in a minute. All right, we're back with game two. After one string, Banks and Pelch hit are at 110. DiBiasio and Donnell are at 83. It's a 27 pin difference in the match. And Amanda Banks is ready to lead us off here in game two. That is a big lead, but we have seen a few bigger ones slip away. So. Amanda's stockings look like the kind you need to hang by the fireplace. <laughs> Not for when the big guy comes. That's awesome. Amanda's pulling so well, too. 72 first half, she was up there. Now she's got a nice eight drop. Right on it. Both both young ladies have excellent form. That is four marks out of six boxes for Amanda. Amanda's going to try to start a new streak she here. She does like get three in a row. Thing. Oh, nice ball. A there great by 10 Justine. by Justine. No pressure. There's no pressure up there. That was a pretty ball by Justine. You can't bring Justine down. She just keeps coming back and making it show after show. And no, even with, uh, and I know Justine, her 39 first half was below what she's capable of doing. Like you said, she had the big smile. Yep. She's having a good time. She doesn't let that stuff bother her. She knows she can come back the next five. That's a rough seven for Amanda, Steve. That, I thought she had a strike when the ball hit the box. It's a good shot, though. Wow, look at that. That's almost. Try. She's right on today. She's in his own. Justine a little off. This is a big seven fill for Amanda Banks on that spare. That's going to increase their lead into the 30s. It's going to be around 37 or so. A six for Justine. 16 after two. 38 now. To She's 27. <clears throat> Let's see here. Justine, high single. Her high single is 128. And she has a high triple of 331. Amanda's high single is the 149 we talked about earlier. And she has a high triple of 346. Central Park lanes for Justine. Huh? I'd like to congratulate uh, Nate Neely. Nate's a, one of the uh, great bowlers from the state of Maine. And last week at the Pro Series in the team championship, Nate rolled a game of 211 with five consecutive strikes. And he did that in the championship match. There was a great string, something that can be seen on YouTube. I still haven't seen that, Steve. I gotta watch that. Five, five strikes in a row, I think? Five strikes in a row. He also had two triple strikes earlier in the day. Wow. And he ended the day with the five strikes in a row, the five bagger in the 2-11 game. 
I'm trying to remember all the bowlers on his team that day. I think Mark Ritchie was on his team as well as Mark Carrier and Andrew Medeiros. And there's one other bowler, and if it comes to mind, I'll I'll mention him. But a great job by Team Neely in winning the title last week. Josh Daly, our contestant from Smoke the Shoe, was just over here talking to me while you were telling me how nervous he was. Sure didn't look it. <laughs> didn't look it at all, Dan. These kids don't look nervous. At all. They don't look nervous when they're up there making the high-low jack that they just keep making over and over again, or when they're putting three marks in a row. A girl's best friend is the diamond, wow. and Amanda proved that right with a big spare. Amanda threw five out of ten marks. That's pretty impressive. 56 half and a bonus ball. She only left two pins standing in her ten boxes. That's equally impressive. She's She's been... She's on fire She's today. been bowling great. It's about a 140 or so if you added it all together. Justine with a five and a 41 half. And our boys, their partners will be stepping up. Well, Ryan Donnell is really gonna gonna have to get hot here, Dan. He's gonna maybe need, even run the sheet. He's gonna need to like play best ball with John Boudreau, and <laughs> then maybe they'd have a chance. But it's gonna be tough. Yeah, he does need to run five marks in a row. I think. Best thing to do is to come out of the gate with a quick mark, and you never know. And we've got a lot of other prizes anyway. You throw a double in here. Not only could you come back, but you can. Hey, win. two consecutive marks. Michael Pelchett with a big spare. That was a real nice shot. Yeah. And he's trying to do what I said, the extra $10 for three in a row. Now, since uh, Amanda started it, we would split it and give them each five if they can do it. There's a nine for Ryan Donnell. He's at 50 through six. Michael Pelchett is at 70 plus a bonus ball. They're trying to put up a big score. They, they not only want to win, they want to get the highest qualifying score possible to get that top seed. For that the championship, important. you get the buy. One, one less string you have to buy to make it to the championship, you know? Nice ball by Tanel. He got that one out there really nice. It's going to be an awfully tough mark here to make for the extra $10 in bonus money. Yeah. He was trying. Ryan Donnell's high game is 131, and he has a high triple of 335. Michael Pelchett's high game is 116, and he has a high triple of 329. Michael settles for six, Ryan a nine. It's 81-59 with three frames remaining. At the end of the string, we'll go, we'll take a break and we'll come back with the high-low jack and see if we can make it, make it five consecutive shows then. Yeah, that's a streak. Every single show we've taped, somebody's hit it this year. I, I don't, I'm at a loss for words on that one. That's amazing. Ryan's got that left to right ball with all kinds of spin coming back across the alley. Similar to the ball I throw, but that's a hard ball to control. I wish I didn't do it, personally. Back to the Pro Series. Uh, the runner-up team that lost in the finals. We'd like to congratulate Mark Gregory and his squad for a great showing. I don't remember all the bowlers on the team. Ryan Donnell there just got done shooting at the high-low jack. He can use that as a little warm-up for what's coming in a couple boxes. Nice ball by Mark. Oh, I can see that one all the way down, Dan. Michael Pelchett with the strike. And, and Ryan Donnell with the strike. Matching him is... So, so, so what? What's ball, next, Ryan though, says. Dan? What's coming now? Well, both bowlers have a shot here at trying to win the bowling balls. If they either one can put another strike, nobody's done it yet this year. So they would become the only team entered. It's a very, very, very good chance they would win it if they do it. Oh, shit. Down the middle. He got oh, it. it. does it. Hey, we have our first double of the year. If Fantastic. nobody else... If nobody else rolls a strike, a double strike this season, Michael Pelchett and Amanda Banks will win the bowling balls in the bowling bag. Great job. They're going to be putting up a big score, as you mentioned earlier now, too. This could be the number one seed we're looking at. I think and they just messed up our scorekeeper. So he's a nice a out by Ryan Donnell, a solid 10. So nice there's, out. There's still stuff that he's obviously shooting for a number one seed now. Looking for he's a shooting for strike. a mark here to get three marks in a row. In which case we give him an extra ten dollars. So. 
reach right on the head pin. If he makes this, it's an extra ten dollars. If he can make it, tough shot again though. Tough split. That puts him at one fourteen through nine, one twenty four and six or one thirty. I believe that's a 130 game for Banks and Pelchett in the final game and a 240 score, Dan. That's a big score. That, that could get them the top seed. That's a awesome great, great score. total. Great job. So our final totals today, Justine DiBiasio and Ryan Donnell are at 174. Amanda Banks and Michael Pelchett, 240. Some great bowling by our youngsters today. We're going to take a break and come back with the high-low jack, so don't go away.